Investors nowadays realize that if you look at the way in which a company deals with environmental, social and corporate governance factors, then you can actually improve your risk-adjusted return. At Credit Suisse, we do feel very strongly that the medium-term financial performance of a company is actually affected uh, in a positive way if that company adopts a positive approach towards issues like dealing with the environment, dealing with the, in, a, in a positive way with the communities in which it works, and of course, having good corporate governance. I think uh, we feel that addressing a CEO who addresses those issues properly is actually going to optimize shareholder value over time. The ICT sector stands for roughly 2% of the CO2 emission, for example, and of course we're working heavily on that all the time. But what's more important is the other 98% we believe we can address as well with very smart solutions where you use the broadband and the connectivity and the mobility to actually avoid CO2 emission. Uh, energy costs for cement production count for about 40% huh, of our total production cost. So I give you an example of uh, one of our latest large projects in the US, which is the largest cement plant in the US near St. Louis. Thermal energy consumption, 40% lower. Electrical energy consumption, 30% lower. Emissions like NOx and other emissions, CO2, 20 to 30 and 40% lower. And on the bottom line, production cost per ton produced is about $30 lower than with compare plants which we have closed down. When we look at the way in which environmental, social governance factors affect a company's potential performance, we're both looking at the short to medium term and much longer term. So in the short to medium term, for example, a company which makes efficient use of water, uh, that company both can save its own costs as well as uh, getting a positive uh, sense with its consumer base particularly in Asia-Pacific, uh, where uh, rice, for example, uses a huge amount of water. And what we're finding there, particularly with climate change, is that uh, growers are faced with either sometimes not enough water, and in some cases, way too much water at the wrong time. And through using advanced agricultural techniques, and in some cases, uh, high-quality products, farmers are able to grow equivalent or even higher yields using less water. And this is where we can make a big contribution. If you think about it, many of us have started with a, a fixed phone, a TV, a PC, a laptop, and then a mobile phone. For many people that we are working with around the world are starting with a mobile phone, and the innovation is just enormous. And it's not given that they will start actually talking the phone. It's actually to search for information. Just imagine people in very rural areas where there's no doctors at all, but just having a handset where they can search for information, getting advice remotely from a doctor. As a company uh, engaged in changing diabetes, we have come to realize that diabetes is also a major problem in the poorest countries of the world. They have different income levels, they have different levels of sophistication, and so if we want to be able to address those future medical needs, and if we want to also have a business model whereby we can do so and still be profitable, we have to invent new ways of getting to the market. We are interested in the way in which a company is perhaps looking to its longer term strategy over five, ten years ahead perhaps uh, and making uh, good judgments uh, about the way in which the changing world, the mega trends, uh, will alter perhaps its consumer base for example in some of the emerging markets. We are right now establishing a program for children in the poorest countries of the world uh, where we take upon ourselves the obligation of demonstrating to the governments in these parts of the world that it is indeed possible to distribute the products to the furthest village in Africa to educate the children and their families to ensure that they don't have to die because of lack of a, a, a product which we have been making for 80 years and which costs less than a cup of coffee a day. I mean, we have seen a lot of things happening in small villages in rural Africa and Asia where they sort of get the connectivity and they start to do a lot more locally. Instead of traveling to each port, for example, for a fisherman, 
uh, and they can actually sit out on the sea to actually have their marketplace out there by SMS. And a company which is really tuned in to the social conditions in those new markets, which is really evaluating that, making sure that what it's doing is appealing to those new consumers, uh, avoiding things which perhaps in its old markets were acceptable, which are unacceptable in the new markets. Those kind of companies have clearly, we believe, got better growth prospects. And so we would, as it were, mark them in a positive way. It's very important in emerging markets, we have a huge deficit of uh, social housing. So it's important that the client can go to one place and buy all the necessary materials for the realization of their affordable house. Just two weeks ago, as an example, I was in uh, the Mekong Delta in Vietnam uh, visiting with a grower customer who just recently had access to one of our, our products for uh, seed uh, coating his, uh, his, his rice before he plants it. And he did part of his field with it and part of his field without it. And the with it part with our product is going to help him improve his yields by almost a factor of three. This is an example where we're able to lift his economic uh, uh, success and do it on the same plot of land in an environmentally sustainable way. In order to actually measure uh, the environmental, social and governance factors, we actually have 120 different indicators spread across those three areas. Uh, we have indicators, for example, in terms of labour relations, uh, in terms of uh, approach to, uh, to carbon emissions, uh, in terms of uh, f analysis of corporate governance, the degree of transparency, uh, the form of board appointments. These kind of measures uh, allow us to, to produce both quantitative uh, indicators and also a number of more qualitative uh, indicators and those can be fed into the investment decision. We have an absolutely clear picture about our emissions per site. We know exactly what is the CO2 emission or the NOx emission or the SOx emission of a plant uh, for each site. I think in all industries uh, the recent financial crisis has uh, brought risk to the forefront uh, of the thinking in industries as well as in the investor community. And we, we fundamentally believe that the way that we are running our business is a way of minimizing risks uh, towards the company. So, looking at Credit Suisse sustainable investment, we believe that there need not be any conflict between doing good and doing well. We think that companies that really do take account of the environment around them, of the community around them, of the way that they govern themselves, those companies we think can actually be the ones that deliver the best long-term and shorter-term performance. Mm -hmm.